Now, on this video, I'm not talking to nobody directly, so you can take this however you want to take this. But don't call yourself a player when you're living under a woman, okay? If you ain't got your own spot where you can move the way you want to move, operate the way you want to operate. Don't call yourself a player if you got to creep and sneak around in that format like a teenager, like a high schooler, okay? That's first thing first. Y'all out here calling yourself players and triple OG and all that crazy shit, man. First of all, you're not an OG if you're not giving nobody no good advice. That's first thing. If you're not giving nobody no real, go get some money. Don't be out here getting caught up. If you're trying to prey on a motherfucker downfall and you leading them down the wrong road and shit like that, like that ain't OG status. That's first thing. The other thing is this. Back to the player shit. I want to be very clear. Bro. You got to have your own shit, something, at least like a little apartment to the side. Even if you do got a spot with you and your, your old lady, have you a little something. And I'm, I'm not even saying that whoever you dealing with on the side is supposed to know where your, that apartment is at. I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying for you to do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? For you to maneuver the way you got to, you know, maneuver. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense to you, you know what I'm saying? You can't be really trying to sleep with 10 different women. But you living with your BM or your wife or your main girl or whoever like that. You got to have your own establishment. Okay? You know, I'm going to say that. And then I want to say this too. A lot of niggas get pissed at me because they can't say, oh, I put food in that nigga belly. I put clothes on that nigga back. So when y'all see motherfuckers trying to talk about me and y'all like going through my videos, trying to like keep tabs of what I'm saying, what's coming across and shit like that, motherfuckers can't say that. And if a motherfucker bought me some shit, and I'm going to say this. Cause I got one cousin that did went out and she bought me some stuff and I didn't I didn't know it was coming. I want to be very clear. Didn't know it was coming. Bought me some stuff, and you know I just took it as a gift. I'm like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Got me some shit or whatever like that. I ain't gonna say what it is because I go into too much detail. Then they want to switch it around. But I'm gonna be real about it. And I appreciate it. Don't don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. But I don't ask nobody. I never even had a woman that I ever been with. I never had a woman that I've been with buy me a pair of Jordans anything like that if they bought it they bought it without my knowledge without me knowing i never said hey babe i want them new jays hey babe can you do this for me can you do that i never i was never that type of guy and motherfuckers try to look at my videos and be like oh yeah this nigga this nigga he he lied he this he that he this and that no man i didn't put up enough videos for proof with the money with my crib with the cars man i put up enough proof to show you that i can hold my own and niggas don't like that and that's all i'm saying about this shit you can't call yourself a player if you're doing lame ass shit and you under a woman and she's under you. If if you can get put out, you're not a player. You can't put me out my shit. You can't put me out my shit. You can't put me out where I pay rent at. It ain't no, a woman can't give me no ultimatum and things like that. Like certain shit you just can't do. I had a lady tell me, so can nobody give you ultimatum? No, you can't. Motherfucker, you better rock with this or rock on shit. You can't give me no, like, y'all niggas want to attack me and, and say shit and mumble under your motherfucking breath and do all these bitch-ass girly way things about me. But, like, my position is solidified, man. And even, like, I, I'm going to put it like this. I built this shit, right? On my own. So, if it come crumbling down, I'm going to rebuild. You get what I'm saying? It ain't nobody that's going to put me in a hush-hush, like... Like, let's shut them down. Like, nigga, I, I done this on my own, bro. Like, when you do shit by yourself and you made shit happen without no help, when you literally had to, like, put it together, the way you look at shit, the way you view shit is just different. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just trying to say some real facts. It's just different when you built the shit from the ground up, you know? So, like I said, I ain't going to make this video too long. I just want to drop some gems, and I don't want nobody to think that I'm trying to attack somebody with this video. But to that one situation, I want to say this too. I don't ever say I'm going to physically kill anyone. I want to clear that up. Not going to do that because, one, not dumb enough to say no shit like that on the internet. Two, I don't want nobody to die. Three, it ain't that serious. It's all jokes and hee ha ha. Yeah, a little tussle, that's one thing. But for somebody to be in the hospital or fighting for their life or anything like that, going to prison over the shit, like everything I do is player, man. Like it ain't even that deep. You know, I realize I have certain family members. You can't even crack a certain joke that you think that's light without them being a bitch and getting in their they feelings and their brain thought process. And this, they just, they just make it this knock them all out of wax. Like, 
I'm sorry. Can't no other man say nothing about me that's going to make me feel that emotional to get physically upset and shit like that. Not to that extent. Unless you come do some harm to my family, somebody I love, then that's one thing. But you cannot say shit that's going to make me want to attack you just off of what you said. You know, a motherfucker try to call me gay. Oh, you gay, you gay. All right. But I'm a, to be real, you know, the motherfucker's calling me gay. I'm knocking his wife down. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm not about to be like, oh, no, bro, you got me messed up. Not, it's not cause for that. Because he don't know it, but, like, okay, yeah, I'd be gay in your eyes. But low-key, your wife is giving it to me on a regular basis. Like, that's just what it is. And I know that might sound fucked up and mean, but that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I had a motherfucker tell me, uh, you got jumped at Snooks on Lucas and Hunt. Yeah, man, we just saw the video. And I'm on the beach. I'm in South Carolina. I'm like, man, I ain't been to St. Louis for a couple of months now. What's going on? And I had, so I did, I FaceTimed the guy that hit me up on, he inboxed me this. And I FaceTimed him. He was just like, all right, and just hung the phone up. You know what I'm saying? See, I can prove the shit and bag myself up. And Niggas just don't like the fact that they can't say they did this for me. They, they gave that to me. They did this or did that. I'm not going to allow no man to say that. All right? So I'm going to end it with that. Like I said, this ain't about my family. This ain't about me beefing with nobody. This ain't about none of that. It's just real facts. That's all this video is about. So if anybody listens to this and they want to say, oh, well, he's throwing subliminals or he's trying to take shots, I'm just saying... You niggas try to attack me, but you don't stand on no principles, no morals, no nothing. Like, come on, man. You're going to have to do better.